Security and autopharynx. I'm going to do an, a specific examination, a special examination, which we call a posterior rhinoscopic examination, right? right? So, do you allow me to do yeah, that? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this examination will use actually a, a, a mirror, right? A mirror and a right. tongue depressor, right? So, I'll introduce this uh, tongue depressor hold to hold your tongue, and then I will be using this mirror, okay? It won't, uh, it uh, won't uh, hurt uh, you, right? It would not hurt right. you, but in case you feel pain, then. Mm -hmm. But before that, uh, let me know, do you have a pain uh, no, anywhere in the no. neck or? No, no, no okay, don't. okay. So for this, um, again, for this test, these two instruments needed are the posterior rhinoscopic uh, uh, mirror, which I already explained. Uh, in the ideal, that posterior rhinoscopic mirror uh, will have a stem which is slightly raised and mirror is up there to avoid my uh, fist obscuring my view of the mirror. The other instrument is the tongue depressor, right? So in the usual manner, we will ask the patient to open the mouth, uh, open your mouth, right? When we either vomit it in the hot water, anti-fog, or on the over sprit lamp, we can vomit also. So we introduce the tongue depressor, put it on the base of the tongue, then we go with this, right? And can you breathe from your mouth gently? Yeah. And then go introduce, and then we go behind the uvula, right? We hold the, uh, the mirror behind the uvula, and s uh, in ideal, we, ho we hold it uh, in a downward direction where the, the structure of the indolymph is seen from below. But in posterior rhinoscopy, with the tongue depressor base of the t at the base of the tongue, we bring the, uh, mirror, uh, the mirror in and we hold it behind the uvula there, right? And we see all the structure of the nasopharynx from the top, okay?